and welcome to another I Explores. Today we're just going to have a walk around Grimsby. I'm going to go towards the West Marsh, have a quick look round there, round that area and see what we can see today. It's a lovely day. It's a Saturday. Uh, we find out what day it was. It's the 24th of the day of this filming, the 24th of February. So let's go and have a see what we can see today as we walk around. Okay, so I'm now walking onto the Victor Street, which is there. The old ice house, which I've told you about before. Playground just here. This is where I am in this area. A bit muddy. There you go. It's, um, I can't say it's warm today. It's, I don't know, it's not windy like we have had the other day, but it's fairly cold. Got some winter coming back, they were saying on the news the other day. So I'm going to get across this road and go over there. Let's go. Luckily, it's not so busy today. This is uh, coming up to John Street, Bath Street, to Street just then. I filmed around here many a times. We're going basically that way towards the West Marsh, where the hospital was. Yeah, a lovely day. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go in for a quick look around. We're we'll going to have a look at the, the bridge, see how that's getting on. Corporation Bridge is well over budget apparently and over time. So <laughs> I don't know. You go past it and there's, I don't know, you can't really see anything really that's not already been done. And I took all the, uh, the road up and that you can see where the rivets and that all are. So let's go and have a look at that as we're going around. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm walking along still. That way up there is Hope Street. It used to run all the way down here and go all the way down there, but now it doesn't. And Bath Street's over there done before. There's a Strand Street School. It's got the famous uh, playground on top. I'm getting a new drone soon, so I'm going to probably fly around about where I am now, because I can, with the rules, and I'm going to see if I can see the top of that. And that'll be uh, later on in the year. Obviously, when it gets a bit warmer, it's cold. <laughs> I've just decided it's cold. No one on the playground today. We're up towards Freeman Street, or there down Kent Street. I don't imagine all this is houses, can you, back in the day? I know I've said it all before, but... It all was, and it all got bombed. It did, that ragged school I did as well. That's uh, over that way. Up there on Albert Street, it was. But yeah, all industry. So I'm gonna go across there now. So change your mind. I think we'll go down Strand Street instead of Kent. I always go in down that way somehow. Uh, it's one of them things like an habit, if you will. So I'm changing it. I'm gonna go down Strand Street. There's quite a few things down there that I've shown you before. Over there. That's Bath Street, that somebody asked me to do a while ago, which I did do. And we're going to turn down Strand Street in a minute, the school is behind that edge. And also, if any of you do want a Pacific Street doing, just uh, put it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. You know, there's always something I can find out. Right, look over here, look. Okay, that's the garage, jet garage, is it still? Yeah. Well, it's down here, look, what's this? It's like somebody's dragged a tree. <laughs> But you see things like this look, like old pavements. You know, it makes you think, well, what did that turn into? Could have been that garage or could have been something else, a warehouse. Just don't forget round here, it was all industries. You can see the old curbstones there, look. There's the, like I say, the school with the uh, thingy on the top, which I'm gonna do one time, obviously, when no one's in it. There's the uh, Albion up there, look. All been smashed up, this is the open window up there. Yeah, it's just makes you wonder what goes on, doesn't it? I wonder if them twigs came from here, look. There's again, not another piece of old pavement turning in. I would have thought that that would be turning in to the back of the Albion for deliveries. Maybe by cart, maybe by lorry. Because it has been here a long time, very long time. And it's still here. Don't know what they're going to do with this one, but I don't think we can get inside today. Last one time I came down here, you could actually get in it. I'm just going to show you a quick show and I'm going to carry on. So I have done these before, I don't like repeating myself, but this is just a walk. Obviously on this corner here, this is where you've got your bike, so I'm a next to it, it was Lightwoods. I'm not going down that way, we're going to carry on down here like I've just been saying. So let's go around this corner, get across the road. Okay, so I'm going to walk right down Sun Street now. I'm turning the camera this way, there's cars on that side of the road. 
and uh, it is a, I think the market's open today, which is in that direction there. And we're going up this way. So keep walking on. If I spot anything, I will uh, point it on. I've got the camera right up there, look, see the chimneys. Anybody remember a place called the Deck? It's where that white building is there. We used to go there in the 80s when I used to work at Turner's. There used to be fantastic meat pie in there. If anyone remembers that one, put it in the comments below. Was it a furniture shop back then? I think it was, I think it still is. There we go, right at the back of it. There you go, Stevenson, that's the one. Yeah, up there was the mess deck. You see an old chimney up there, look. So about the camera angle, but there's cars down here, and I know it's uh, just to get editing, if you see what I mean. But okay, we can put it down here now. As you can see all along here. Hold your camera up and you look up, you always see something new like that up there, look where that chimney is. It's like an old window at the back. Are lots of hidden things that you don't usually notice when you're walking along, you know, in your daily daily shopping or whatever. Just for instance, look at that green door there, look. Things like that. And there's up here, a bit further along, I'm going to show you an electric box. What used to uh, last, I don't know what you call it, a transformer for the trams. When they ran up and, ran up and down uh, Cleefort Road and that, yeah, and all the way into Victoria Street, etc. Look down there, look back at these windows up there. Some of it's still in, still there. Some hasn't. Some's gone. It's heavily bombed round here. And now coming up to the, uh, at the back of the Caxton Theatre. I think I am here. I am yet. That's called the Olympia back in the day, if I remember rightly. I did do a theatre one, but that needs to be redone. As you can see now, it says the rehearsal room, so that's all in there. OK, let's, uh, let's go a bit further up. I'm going to keep this running today so that you guys can, you know, see what, exactly what I'm doing. So back of that, uh, what, I think it's a medical centre, is it that? The mind and that are all in there. Another bit of original pavement, but may not be. The camera pointing in. There was a big shop on the corner here. I forgot, it's Drake's, yeah, that was it. Big white building. All pubs and that cottage is round the corner. Let's turn this round in a second. Across there, that was a bank. Was it the Midland? I think it was. I saw it in a photo recently. But yeah, there it is, look. Somebody painted it recently. I think I did that in a video. But yeah, that was an original electric box with the trams. You can imagine how old that is. Well over 100 years old. If I go over this way. There's that uh, shop I just mentioned. And down here, look. Like there was a fireplace in there at one time. This was had a fire not long back. Loads of pubs around here. The Sheffield's one of them. There are quite a few around here. So we're going to go across the road over there now. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to carry on. OK, so I've come across the road now. Like I said, this was a bank. I believe it was the Midland from the pictures I've seen. But look at the artwork on it, though. I mean, you don't get this anymore, do you? Look at that, there's a lion there. Is it now a bed shop, isn't it? Or furniture in there, I've just seen a couch, but yeah. This was it. Now, I have seen recently, let me get a bit better view for you all. Hope nothing comes down here, so I'll get crushed. There's a better, better view of it. Right, come back over here. <laughs> Dangerous. So, yeah, I have seen a recent picture. Um, this, this was here, then, on the picture I've seen, okay? But all here had there was pubs and shops and all sorts and some things down here. And I'd already knocked the ones the other side of that down. And I turned this round, I'm going to second pass this car. So all along here was shops and pubs and various things. But when before they built this, there were shops on that side of the road as well. Basically where the, the uh, flyover is, also the trams. So I keep and move down here. I think this is near the location where the pub is, according to me. But yeah, it is, next to the Napier. It was in here. I, forgot, I couldn't see the name of it. I've got, I wrote it down somewhere and I did do it on a video. I've forgotten. So if anybody can remind me, that'd be fantastic. So you can see, here's the Napier works in here, is it? Yeah. Well, some look, some of the old road surface is coming undone over the years. It's disintegrated. Don't get that on Roman roads, do you? 2,000 years, 10 minutes, <laughs> somebody put that on, oh, that's funny. But yeah, you can see, 
But that it, behind me is an apiary works there. I'm going to go over here in a minute. You can see there it is. So there's all shops all the way down to there. So basically, it's original here, partly original down there where the bank was, and that white building I believe is original to down here as well. But everything in between here is all obviously been demolished. Obviously, the hotel down there, the railway hotel, etc. The Royal, which was uh, I'm not there yet, which is through this way where I'm going. So we're going to go under the flyover, walk up here. A lot of pigeon there. They've been round here. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot of things have lost over in that area there, Porritt Street, etc. Which I have done on a video before, which is basically where that Travis Perkins is it now in there. So you can see the green, that's where that was. Obviously the uh, stock offices have been there for quite a long time. Let's go up here. <coughs> go up to the customs house, which um, I was told by one of my subscribers that used to where the railway men went in when the you know to get the orders for the trains and what was taking where they were going. I'll show you that office in a minute. Right now, there we go. Right on the top of it. You see out to there. Ice factory there. A few ships dock, famous dock tower. We're going in there, that's the customs house over there, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. Flower mill in the distance. Obviously, the palace was there and the Globe theatres in that area. Dock station down there. We're going down here. It's quite a nice day. Look at all that over there, like scrap metal. Wow. I've seen it higher than that, though, down there. Um, where are we? Now I think it's down, there it is. The building with the blue door, that was an air raid shelter, from what I was told. So let's go down here. I see World War One, probably World War Two as well. I mean, Docks has been around quite a long time. Let's go down here. I'll turn this off in a moment, because we getting there to where we want to be. As you can see straight down there, look what I'm going to have a look at the railway in a minute, which is behind me, so let's go down this way and have a look. Okay, so just come from uh, getting over this, heading this way a little bit, through there. There's dock offices, there's the, uh, the statue of Prince Consulate, which I have done before, that, and I'll show you where that used to be, I think I have done it before. Al uh, Prince Albert Gardens, they moved it to there. Over there you can see it, that green looking uh, statue there. We're down here, a bit of uh, railway stuff still remaining, the light up there, look. There used to be a bridge over here, I remember going over it. Around about this area where these fences, all completely gone. And then, as we walk up here, this is the only bit of the level crossing what's left, that black uh, pole there, look, still there after all these years. Boxes in here, lots of tracks. There's a signal box where that's pointing and one round this area as well. So there's been quite a few things gone on over in the uh, years. There was the railway hotel where the camera's looking at now. But uh, let's carry on and walk in and go this way. Walking up to the customs building up there. As I was saying, this is Prince Albert Gardens coming up around this corner here. That's where the statue used to be, which I just pointed out. So let's walk this way. So, customs. Used to be a customs place, like I was saying. Then it turned into a nightclub, which I actually attended when I was about 21, 22 year old. That's a while ago. Should be on the early 60s, so you can work that one out yourself. <laughs> old, eh? But no, um, so there, this, as I was saying, was where your railway men came, your drivers, your conductors, whatever it was, wherever it was taking goods to, went in there and got their instructions. So I'm going to take a look, this is where we are by the way. So I'm going to take a look around. Let's have a look. There we go. The old customs place and the, say the railway one there. Because this is massively 
industrial, everything around here. You can imagine what it was smelling like. You got all these steam trains, probably still, you know, we got the burr. I know steam powered boats at the time still, before I went to diesel, etc. I'm gonna have a look down there where the camera's going. There's nothing to say I can't. I'm only filming, there we go, right around the back, as you can see. So I'm gonna go down this way, see what's around. I did come here at one time, but I can't remember when I did it. But uh, I'm gonna take you around here anyway. You see down there, look, walkways. And right around the back. There we go, I won't go much further than this. But it looks like there was something down here, I don't know what. Maybe in the structure, but yeah, as you can see the back of it. I believe it's gonna be a, a funeral uh, place. It's the same firm that um, we used for my father recently. I'll go around the front, I'm sure it's it was Dignity or something like that. I can never remember the name, you're too upset at the time. You can, well, I think you can well imagine that, but yeah. Let's go through here. I'm gonna go back out. Okay, so we'll come around the front now. So this is what I was saying. This is where the railway men came in there. It's a bit bright in there we go. It's gonna be a the old customs place. Oh, what am I doing here lot? Oh hello. Oh of course that's why it's gonna be shut. So yeah, this is now going to be a funeral place and what I've uh, been told. I should know the name of it, but anyway. Anybody come here in the 80s when it was customs, as in the nightclub, I'm going to go across the road. No, I did. A few times, actually. It's one of the places to come because it was fairly new back then. It still says customs house up there. And again, An entrance into a yard, down here, look. Going round the side of Customs House. Sense the reason there would have been something down here anyway, so I'm going to carry on. OK, I think I've got a bit of lens flare on this, like I had on one of the other videos. I don't know why that is. Uh, this Max lens I've got on, I might have to change it. But anyway, OK, so we're now coming up to Lock Hill, which is in front of us there. A lot of industry still around here back in the day before they changed all this and put the fly over there. Should be coming around to uh, where the Burger King is. The Chinese restaurant around here. It used to be where the Danes used to stay. Over the time it's changed. I can never remember it same. Also, the nautical school was around here. It was site where the Burger King is now. The only thing left of that is the blue railings, which is over there. So we're going to walk past any second, see the Burger King. Yeah, this is be the uh, where the Danish taller men came and stopped, which I've completely forgotten its name. Just anybody can tell. Yeah, I forgot. Kind of times I've come past here, I should remember rarely, to be honest. Which now was it an art gallery? I'm sure this is a Chinese uh, like restaurant at one time. Now a gallery, so where that is, is where the nautical school was, right in there. But we're going to go this way, Lock Hill, looking busy as always. Looks like they're digging that up as well as the sign over there. So if you're coming this way at one time in the week, look out because they are doing the flyover soon. So, yeah, these railings here, all right, they're not blue, somebody's painted them black, but there was blue last time I walked down here. But these are original railings, and as I say, all in there was the nautical school. So we're carrying on down here towards the flowerman. It's got busy down here today. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, where this place is here, this used to be a car garage. I don't know his name, like I said, I'm not a car man, but a lot of you will know. This is on Victoria Street North. Okay, it's various, been various things. Isn't that what you are when you come home? Your missus don't like you in the doghouse or getting some... Yeah, forgetting anniversaries. <laughs> don't know that one, boys, don't we? Anyway. Yeah, there's something wrong with this lens. I apologise for that. There's something, I don't know why it's doing that. But, okay, so in here, this used to be Clover Dairies. 
Okay, and I remember one time parked outside this when you could. Oh, I still can. Watching the bottles go past that window in there and the women watching it, yeah. Don't know what it's going to be now. No idea. Anybody who does now. At least it's got its original... Uh, oh, yeah, let's put it down here. Original fence in there, look, the blue. That's what it used to be. And that one there as well, look, the original blue paint. Still here. And where that is, that leaves, used to be a Victorian school in there, right on this corner, this very corner here. Okay, and further up used to be the Globe Theatre, which is where that Smythes and everything is now, uh, Dunholm. I see the Palace, which is over the road there, and the flour mills and etc. So let's go and uh, have a look. I'll walk up to the Corporation Bridge now. We'll see what the progress is on that. OK, so I'm now in a car park, the Victoria Retail Park, and I've come here to that building over there, which used to be the barracks in the First World War as well. I don't know, I have to get some dates here. I need to really do some history on this one, but, yeah, that's what that was. And at the back of there was a railway track. I remember seeing it, and they had loaded all ammunition on it to go to the First World War. But I will do some more on that building eventually. OK, I'm going to move on. Ian, where this is... <laughs> used to be pubs and that down here, OK? See, across there was the Palace Buffet, where that fence is. I see the flour mills in expensive flats, I believe. And coming up, I'll keep the camera pointed in there. You come along here. This is roughly the site of the Globe Theatre, where the Dunelm is. It's coming up now, just to past all this. I'll probably edit that off. But, yeah, it was in there. Was the palace? There was also a theatre there before the palace as well, and I've forgotten that one's name. But I think it was something royal theatre. I can't remember. If anybody knows, comments usual. But yeah, that's the palace buffet. The part of it is still there. It was a pub. Okay, let's go over there and look at the corporation bridge. You can see in the distance. Uh, okay, so just come across the road there. You can see the palace buffet. What's left of it? Still there. Now walking up to the uh, corporation bridge. Now I'm just gonna. Over this way, and no traffic as you can see. Let's have a look. Not a lot to see, really. We must be getting on with it somewhere. Seems to be all starting something, don't know. We're going to go through it underneath it. Let's see, uh, down the side there. Let's go and have a look, see if we see anything. Okay, just before I go through there, I'm just going to put the camera over here. Look at that one, he's had the old boat up. Look, crikey, some of it's still there. There's all industries around here. I'm just going to go around this way. Oop. There's a fence in front. I know that. I get it. See if I can't. Yeah, I can point it through there, but I can't really turn it round. But that's the Ross Tiger over there, and that. This is the back of the job centre, basically. As you can see, still got its uh, white covering over its sheet. Looks like, I don't know, plastic something. But it's a really nice taste. So let's go and have a walk through. Now, I'm going to check if anybody's coming this way first before I go in here. There is, so I'll let this, this come out, and then I'll go... Then I'll go walk down there. We'll go down the other side, because I'm going to be late. <laughs> Things to do today. Right, let's go. So, we're now walking under all this lot, what they've put on. OK, so I might have to turn the camera off in a minute or two, because there's people coming, but as you can see, they cannot see what they're doing that side anymore. Let's put the camera up there. Remember, I can't see what's down there until I actually go home to an ed and edit it. So I'm going to carry on walking up. OK, so I've just come from down there. I had to stop for a minute because there was people walking. But you see where I am now? I'm out of there. And you can see for a wee a lot. It still looks the same as it was a few weeks ago when I was down here. So I haven't really filmed it much because it's just looking the same. So why'd have had to carry it on for an extra length? I don't know. I was told that by a, a friend of mine that actually works at the council and they're telling me that it's um you know it's been over budget, this, that and the other. Spent a lot of money on it. Don't know the exact figure, but you can imagine, can't you? But yeah, so I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna walk a bit further up. Now on to uh, the Boulevard area, West Marsh. 
Let's have a quick look down here. As you can see, all it is is that at the moment, but nothing really to see. So I'm going to move on. OK, so I'm now coming up to uh, Alexandra Road, which was called the Old Dock Road, which ran from down there, OK, where the Queen's and that used to be. The Queen's Bingo Wall, that used to be Neto's for there at one time. The old electrical box over there, which I've done in the past of the trams. But all this industry round here, yeah, this is uh, called the old dock road back then, which I've done before. We're going to go round the corner here. This is a uh, nursery in there. Look at this. I think I featured this mural before. I actually saw the bloke painted it when he was doing it. Over there's Art, Art Wells, the famous Ford garage. Been there quite a long time. We're going to head up this way. Well, up there, sorry. <laughs> this way, I should point it out, shouldn't I? I'm currently down Randall Street. If anybody lived down here in the past when there was houses, things. Can't, I can't think what was here before this. I'll have to figure that one out. And if I find out, I will put it on as per usual. OK, so we're carrying on down here. It's a bit cold. See where I am. That big thing there is your electrical box, as I've mentioned before, which is for the trams. I've actually got a nice picture of that, these, the, the guys taking the cables out of it. But again, you know, I can't, can't really use them. But these cars here with these plates on is all right because it's not nobody owns them, you see. So if you catch any of them on, <laughs> all, right, all right. Okay, so we're walking up here now, Corporation Road up towards the West Marsh Club, which is on this, this side when we get there. So about the hand. Oh, look at that, I'm hungry now, look at this. <laughs> yeah, always makes you hungry when you see them. I think that's why they do it. <laughs> yep, yeah, so Corporation Road is where we are. Now, I do know what was in this bit. It was all shops. Same on that side there. Okay, because somebody put a reason. A recent picture up have basically taken from that side of the road looking towards the West Marsh Club and there's all shops down here, even I remember that. All shops and that around this area before all this was built. But that's in such a big area, I just need to see what was there previous. All I know is there were shops, probably housing I would I'd imagine, because the fishing industry was massive back then. So, we'll carry on and I've just got to change my battery. It's getting a bit flat, so uh, bear with me for a minute. I'll be right back. I've now walked a bit further down Corporation Road. Like I say, all this area here was shops. I know that because I've seen pictures of it quite a few times now. And also across the road there as well. And there was the church in the distance where their houses are and everything else. There's a big church down there, which I've done on previous, previous outings and videos, etc. So, here we go. It says up there on that, this... Manshield was what, established 1855. I'm not sure how long this has been here, but it's obviously around about that time anyway, or previous, but here we go. It's now a dance school, I believe. Somebody told me it was uh, that is a, definitely a dance school. You can see the poles. Nobody in there, that's fine. But yeah, this is one of the buildings that's still standing down here, which is really good. Yeah, it is a dance place. You can see in here, look, I'm going to... Put the camera around there. There's your entrance to it. And up there, I don't know what was on that stand there, but that's where you went in. Out of this side. Or this side. As you can see, it's still got its architecture on it. I'm going to go across the road a little bit. There it is. There, this is where we are now. Ravenspawn Street. So if anybody lived down this one, everywhere was houses back then. It is, it's probably a corner shop, which now you can see what that is. And all down here, all these shops, I remember these being here. Some of them though, further up, have been converted back into houses. So, as you can imagine. Um, I remember a picture I've got of the brigade, Church Lads Brigade. Oh, I'm talking about it, that church is down there. This street, I'll tell you what it is when I get up to it in a minute, because I can't see the sign. <laughs> yeah. 
Not a very good knowledge of streets, but you know, you try. Even though I've spent most of my childhood around here, my granddad's fish and chip shop, which I probably mentioned many a times. It's coming up to Ames Cross Street now. Oh, this is where the Rex was in there. And previous to that, it was called the Paragon. So I'm gonna go down this way. Oh, God, blimey. Yeah, there I am. Ainscroft Street, up there, look, as you can see. Right, so I'm gonna carry on down here. And by the way, that car behind me there, you see it, there's police in it. I wonder what's going on around here. So, and over the road, coming up, we see where that uh, old telephone box is. Okay, there used to be toilets down there, on there. And this next street, this is Chowton Street, okay? Down there. See about the kids in the background, I mean, you know. But yeah, now, as I was saying, these houses down here, some of them, that it curves round, okay? Now, there was shops down here. And I think there was uh, all the toy shop, you know, we know what I mean, that sort of thing, post office, uh, not post office, news agents, <laughs> all, all sorts of mixture of stuff, I'm gonna say. Well, the pictures that I have got looks like they were converted from shops to houses, as I was just saying. But I've said that twice, I'm sorry, but where I'm going now, so I'm going to go across the road and I'm going to go back up that way, okay? Okay, so I'm heading towards the boulevard. The place is old. Remember the bars on the window? All right, they're not bars. This is York Street. I have done down here in the past, so I won't repeat. <laughs> The cafe in there, I remember going there, talking to the nice people that own it, it's really nice. I'll come here in the summer and I'll have a cup of coffee in there eventually. That's through there, it's Grimsby and Bloom. I'm going to carry on walking round. I am now late to where I'm supposed to be doing today, but there you go. <laughs> it's fine. So we're going to carry on walking round here. I'm going up to where the old hospital was shortly, which I've done before. A lot of places around here that's abandoned or left or... I know some of these might be in use, no idea, but... A lot of you might know, it's very quiet around here. The South Parade uh, School coming up shortly. And there we go. So I am now coming up to the area where the... Uh, the old hospital was, which is over that way. I'll come a bit further around. Bit of waste ground through here, look, at the back of this place. The Standard Club, okay. Still there then. And through where you look, you see an area that's probably used to be a car park, don't know. Doesn't look like it, or oh, might be at one time. The chain down there, there's a boulevard over in that direction, the Avon or the Freshman, whichever you want to call it. Like I said, this area was where the hospital was. So I'm going to go this way and have a look around there. You can still walk in, well, I'm on Ravenspawn Street. I actually went the wrong way. It says Ravenspawn Way on it. But I think it was street back in the day. So yeah, where all this was, was the hospital. And I think I featured this before, like these, cur these um, curb stones that are still in situ in the ground was, was round the back of it. So I won't waffle on about that. And over there is South Braid School. And like I was saying, at one time there was two churches in there. The chapel, I think one of them was, the other one was a church for, from memory. If I'm wrong, sorry about that. Not that good, I'm not an historian, you know. I don't, I've never mentioned that before. I just read these things and hope it works. And uh, whoever put the article on online or whatever has got it right, because sometimes it, it can be wrong. You know, a bit like that fake news thing, I suppose. Sometimes, not every time, I'm not saying, you know, I'm just pointing out the post boxer. Elizabeth the second one. But yeah, this is like I was saying, the South Parade the street is right in front of me there and it did run straight across here and go down there in the hospital. His quarters and what have you, where these houses are here. I remember seeing, it's now called Waterside Drive. Yeah, I changed the name, this is what I mean. This is like when you're researching, it's so hard sometimes. You get, you're trying to get where it is and you can't, but um, I don't know. Anyway, so this is where we're going. This is where I am. I was freshly placed in that area. Now you can see the original part of the school itself through there. So it's a Saturday, so there's 
no one in there. And there's the new part look they had on, which a lot of things, that happens a lot as well. You find that when you get some of it's old building and some of it's new, some of the, the research you do, well, it's changed into something else. And okay, that's probably progress. But we're now coming up to the L Street Bridge, which I'm about to show you. There we go, up here. I'll go, uh, which side shall we go on? Oh, we'll, go this, we'll stay on this side. I'm going to point out something as I go across. The old railings are still here, look, originals. Basil wasn't taken out for the war. This has calmed down since I see that bridge there. That's an original, that's where you went across. You went through down the side of a walkway, let's say, and you came out of the hospital. There's the other side, the crest, you see the crest still on there, look, the Grimsby crest, the old light fittings, the top bit's gone. Oh, there's a duck down there. Hello, duck. Quack. And a cat. But you see there, look, there it is. Okay, let's carry on, and we're gonna go straight in front of me. Okay, let's move on. I'm just on the side of L Street, and uh, down here, well, that way, is Chantry Lane, and it runs down there as well for a little while. Another street which had plenty of shops on in the day, it ran all the way through town, past near enough to St James's Churches, and, but yeah, another one that's uh, been altered a lot. Hold me down here, some of the old houses around here. To the, the level crossing in a minute. I smell smoke in here. Hmm, something must have a coal fire going. This is what it used to smell like though. Where are we down? This is another one. This is Queen's Parade, which is down there. Again, many of old houses down there, there have been barns, probably farm, farm back in the day. Things like that. I mean, a lot of things have changed. I'm coming up to the level crossing in a minute. I'm just going to turn this off a second because there's a lot of people out today. To the level crossing now. There we go. As you can see there, Little Field Lane level crossing. If we know somebody's put the sign up there, this is uh, Queen's Parade. <laughs> it's not... There you go, you can see up there, look. I'm going to keep it down here. There's something in the middle of my lens. This, I don't know what's going on with this lens today, but I do apologise for that, if you keep seeing things on it. I'll check it out in a minute before I go any further, but yeah. You shouldn't really walk across a level crossing like what I've just done, dead slowly, but there you go. There was nothing coming. There he goes over there, so let's move on. OK, so I'm now coming out onto Dudley Street. I've actually took this off. There's something, I don't know, but it might spoil your viewing, and I don't want that few people out there. But yeah, we're up there is Dudley Street we're coming up to now. OK. And this one is Prince's Avenue, another lane. So there's many a lane down here, and right at the bottom there, there used to be a garage. I'm not going that way today because I have done it before. But you can imagine what it was like down here back in the day. All the old, I think that's got old slates on it up there. Okay, let's move along a bit. Okay, so I think I've sorted this lens out. Sorry about that if it happens further back in this video. I'll try and edit it out best I can. So, as I was saying, there was an ambulance just gone past where I turned off. Uh, I'm on Littlefield Lane now. Okay, so we're walking down here. So I don't usually do videos up this way, but I thought I would. OK, these big houses down here are probably built by the trawler owners, rich mill owners back in the day, because this used to be all fields back then from what I've seen. But there isn't a... Well, further down where I'm going now, where the fish and chip shop is, there's a style of building. OK, so I'm coming up to where the shops are now. This is, see it up there, 1928. OK, it's just the style of them, because the same thing is further down there. And that's where that is, look. That's your roll, that's it. So now we're in a bit, much because, like I say, it's quite busy today around this uh, area because there's a lot of roadworks going on in town so people are taking shortcuts, so don't blame them. This is St Anne's Avenue, where I am now. Coming up to where the, uh, the old cricket ground was and that uh, we had a fire, didn't it? got burnt down a while ago. Now, I think they're developing on there as well. I'll show you that as I walk up. The cricketers is round the corner, that way. OK. So we're going to walk up a bit further and I'm going to show you where the uh, cricket and that was, cricket ground was. I think I think it's, I think it's still play on there. I'm not entirely 100%, but maybe. So let's go and have a look. Let's go down here a bit. 
Okay, so I'm now off Littlefield Lane, and this is what I was on about. Littlefield Bar and Restaurant, which had a fire, and it's now totally, well, it's gone. As you can see on here, it looks like they're clearing it for something. Yeah, I was right, the cricket field is over in that distance over there. So whether or not they still use it, and maybe they do, it looks like they do, because they're building there as well. So I'm guessing they still play cricket down there, but as you can see, the restaurant's completely gone, I think. Looks like they knocked it down. So I'm gonna go a bit further and have a little walk up to these gates. So let's go down here and have a look. As you can see, someone's got a fire on down there. That's the allotments, by the way. Yeah, it looks like it's completely gone. Yeah, you can see it there, pile right in front. Yeah, it's completely knocked it down, but there was a fire, like I said. So we can't walk, where's that go, I wonder? Hello, it's a walkway. Yeah, this is where it was. If any of you came here, I think I came here once or twice in the past, the 80s. As you can see, look, it's all uh, gone. Probably going to build houses on here, more than likely. I mean, from what we all know, it's just that's what they do nowadays, isn't it? These developers buy it. I mean, you can't blame them, they've got to make money. I'm going to go that far around because I need to be over that way. Okay, so I'm going to make my way back now. I don't know where that goes. I will come down here again and see where it actually goes. I'm going to go back around this way now and carry on. Ah, so just walking past the allotments here, as you can see. That's smoke in the distance. Where I am is there, the cricketers. Okay, this is where I'm walking at the moment. But I will get to the part where I wanted to show you. About the same sort of architecture as where the shops were, which is right in front of me. So let's uh, move along and get there and have a look at that. In here, where I'm walking, there used to be I think it was a caravan factory. I'm sure something like that was in there. I remember seeing it where that building is there. So I remember seeing uh, caravans parked in this very, well, car park. I don't know if any, any of you can remember that one. But uh, we're going to go up there where the water tower is, etc. OK, and it's this very block of, um, I don't know, cottages or houses, whatever you call them, what I want to look at to show you all today. But yeah, so... Basically, still on Littlefield Lane down there. And I'm walking up here. Oh, a bit precarious house. There's a car following me. Look at all the flood water down there, look. And there have been some rain. But what it is, is look at this. Very unusual. Now, I don't know if this was here, previous, before the shops were back there but he may have been i know there's the water tower right in front there and the water works is through that way i think it is a water works through there yeah so it's just a park area okay so we've come to the end of another video i hope you enjoyed that one i'd like to welcome all my new members to the channel Not only for watching my content i really do appreciate all this it really does help my channel helps me uh, make more content so on that note i will see you all next time on the next video bye for now